Hey, how the fox? So, I c you know, guys, I couldn't not try try the Damascus little hawk hatchet. I had to. It's funny because I just did the video. I work for quite a quite a while with the big blades, and I'm a little tired. But the funny thing is that this is so damn light. It's I don't even think I don't even feel that I hold something in my hand. It's so light, really. And uh, for how light it is. Because it has a nice three inch blade or uh, actually it's about almost four inch blade and uh, it has regular knife geometry it's nice lean convex it's actually quite a good performer this is life uh, don't know what it is some life tree just branch and as you see performs quite well let's see on the on the base pretty nice I do have to go all the way on the end to get that speed into it because it doesn't have the mass so I have to compensate it with with speed speed <laughs> and It cuts nice, it cuts just like a knife. Me, I have small hand, I can actually fit them all the way up here. You can use it just as any other knife. Actually initiate my cut. See, this is actually quite a comfortable grip for me. Right here. So that means, actually my cutting edge is already over my finger can get quite a lot of leverage I can even go actually one one closer to get even more space for my knuckle here or oh, not knuckle the joint actually that's quite nice and it's actually still sharp nice the mask is holding pretty well. I already worked with this before. The color is still staying there, which is good. I thought that it would rub off that black, the nice black portion of it, the deeper. So that was that. That was the uh, easy stuff. That was life soft wood. Let's see some poplar. Yep soft wood but dry it should be also no problem performs quite well actually for such a small little thing this is really tiny tiny little thing let's see this get out of here B or whatever you are oak the thin oak, this the, what is it, like half inch by half inch or something like that, I don't know, thin stuff. Snapping it without any effort, effort without any damage to the edge. Looks like Tim, looks like Tim did a really good job on the heat read on this. Because this is still sharp. It still bites the fingernail, so that means it's most likely still is even newspaper slicing, phone book paper slicing. Little wider oak, uh, about three quarters of an inch by 0.3. I don't know what what dimensions these are. Almost through the whole thing, literally by one eighth of an inch. See if I put uh, more force into it, it does go through the whole thing. Nice, that's that's decent. That's very decent for such a little tool. Very very nice. Some molding shaped. Nice. One one through. 
that's nice I like this I would not think that such a small little showpiece kicks so much power behind it because I don't know it's hard to explain it's very light I gotta wait it when I when I get home I didn't think about it because I didn't really think I'm gonna be using it this hard that's that's nice uh, is this the same one that I did before? No, this is small. This is bigger, I mean. Let's see. Not bad. Now let's see some of this. Just to finish it with something. Let's see. 2 by 3 Let's see how it chops into something thicker. Bad. I'm very bad with my left with this thing and especially not very confident this cho this chopping this way perfect it was nice and deep when I go this way I am very cautious because I have my hand there so I'm not putting as much power into it so I'm missing quite a lot and not aiming properly but actually in this direction the direction where I don't have to worry about anything you now it kicks quite a lot of power Shot. But it's nice and deep, and <laughs> like I said, I wouldn't think that such a small little showpiece has so much potential behind it. I knew the geometry was good, but I didn't think that you can get enough kinetic energy in such a small light thing to actually work quite well. But I guess because it's so light and it has that head over there to give it a little more blade heavy. It gets that enough energy to power through stuff. Power through stuff that is thin enough for, for this to handle, obviously. But <laughs> it's really nice. That's good. So now I can say that not only it looks good, it actually works pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you for watching, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself and enjoy the outdoors.